Hey, Fit Like YouTube, welcome back to another episode. Okay, so today, on my way to Nessie's Lair, down in Fife, and we're going to have a look at that shop, and maybe pick up some fish, possibly some corals. Okay, let's go check it out. Right, finally arrived at Nessie's Lair. Let's check it out. So as you enter the shop, this is the entrance here. Some shelving, some merchandise. There's not a lot here, some used equipment. And a small area of dry goods. So once new fish arrive, he puts them in these quarantine sections. They spend three weeks in quarantine. None of the fish are mixed from different localities and they spend two weeks in copper power at two parts per million, plus formaldehyde for the first 10 days. Then they're given a fresh water dip and they are moved to an acclimation system for where they stay there for a further week and this is just to ensure that they're eating and healthy. And then this follows another fresh water dip and then the fish are then ready to be put up for sale. Okay, so here's a look at the acclimation area. So these fish have all made it through the quarantine, through the copper and formaldehyde, and they're now just resting up here and to ensure that they're healthy and eating. Now, unfortunately, he's placed these two cardinal, Bongai cardinals in here, and as it is, they've turned out to be both males, and as such, one of them has killed the other. Here's a nice blue spot jawfish. Nice flame angel, black clown, some lionfish. So all of these guys are going to be ready to be put up in at the sales tanks in the next week or so. And here's a look at the whole shop. Now, one thing you'll notice is there is quite a lot of empty tanks. Now, the reason for this is Jamie, the owner, is actually shutting down this place and he's actually going to be moving premises. So a lot of these tanks were empty when I came down to visit, which was unfortunate. Um, and just my luck. <laughs> so a lot of the tanks were empty and that's the reason as to why you entered the shop. There was not a great deal of uh, dry goods and stuff because, like I said, he is running all the stock down to get ready for a move. But the stock that was here was all super healthy and some really nice fish.
along here is all the coral tanks. So let's see them again, there's not a lot of stock in at the moment. Um, but what was here, there was some really nice pieces and quite good prices. Some really nice LPS corals here. These elegance corals were just stunning. Absolutely loved this pink tip. Just a pity it wasn't open, but it certainly looks as if it's a beauty. And I really loved this bubble coral. I was so tempted, but with the amount of flow I've got in the world's end, it just wouldn't work out, so had to give that one a miss, but it really was beautiful. Unfortunately, the display tank had been taken down. However, he did have a couple of small nano display tanks, which were looking rather nice. Okay, it's been 10 days since I was last at Nessie's Lair. The fish that I purchased, I've had them in my own quarantine tank and I've quarantined the fish myself, treated them the way that I treat my fish. And they're just getting ready to go into the main display tank now. But before I do, just as an extra precaution, I'm putting them through some rapid quarantine. So they've spent 45 minutes in the green and they're just spending their last 45 minutes in the blue, A and B. A couple of air stones, I've got the heating turned up in the living room so it's fine and cosy. So we'll get this done and we'll get them into the main display.